during the worst of it. I'm asking God, give me the correct words to tell her. Harvey's most desperate moments when your family was at risk. My husband is a di bad diabetic and he's in the house, he won't leave. When your home and business were at risk. Somebody came through here and looted your house. Yes. They were vultures. I hope karma gets them. The villages of Bear Creek on the west side near Bloated Attics Reservoir was a neighborhood devastated by flood water and worse. This is five feet of sewage just on everything. Elizabeth Burnham salvaged what she could on her front lawn, only to have it disappear piece by piece. I don't know how people can do that and I don't know how they can sleep at night. Like it or not, there, there are evil people out there that are aware that this is easy pickings. Andy Kahn's home flooded too. He witnessed looting as he was boarding a rescue boat. He also happens to be the city's crime victim advocate. We need to do something. We need to let the world and the public know who these, quote, looters are. So here they are, a chunk of them anyway, Harris County's suspected looters. And everybody you see here has a prior criminal history. There's multiple convictions. People are on bond. One particular person was paroled in December of 2016 after doing half of his 20-year sentence. In Northeast Houston on Lockwood near Cavalcade, August 29th, it was an absolute free-for-all. Talk to anyone at an air show. That's crazy. And you will quickly realize. Like you can feel it how riveting the experience can be. Man, I think of how terrifying it would be to be under that. There's plenty of velocity and storytelling. A lot of those fast movers saved my bacon when I was in Vietnam. All playing out under one colorful theme. Patriotism at its finest right there. The premier attraction, the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, or U.S. Navy Blue Angels. <laughs> Symbolic for thousands as they represent the spirit of our nation. It's called freedom. It's called what we're here for. It's called being American. We believe in that beautiful, beautiful phrase that hasn't been used so much over the last three decades, made in the USA. This was President Donald Trump during a speech to the National Association of Manufacturers back in September. They're giving other countries those jobs. And while the president has been critical of American companies for overseas production. Let me get the gray one. Channel 2 Investigates found extensive outsourcing of patriotism in apparel and hats. Okay, 45. At air shows in Fort Worth and at Ellington Field in Houston. It's like something out of the movies or a really weird dream. Everywhere you look, from the ceiling to the walls, some sort of wild animal is looking back at you. A little over 700 pieces, uh, probably around 500 taxidermy mounts and 200 miscellaneous items. You've got a few tigers on the prowl, a couple of giraffes keeping watch from high above, lions, alligators, deer, and of course a few raccoons goofing around. One digging into a jar of peanut butter, another trying to make an escape on a boat. It's just an incredible thing. As Hurricane Harvey was brewing in the Gulf, a teenage kid on Houston's southeast side was in trouble. A medical emergency, and his only immediate hope was this HFD ambulance. Their apparatus broke down two blocks from the hospital. Lost all power had to push the stretcher to Texas Children's Hospital. That's what one frustrated paramedic posted on Facebook. So now on foot, those paramedics made a heroic effort to save the boy, but it wasn't to be. Surely you've noticed people are advertising all sorts of things on Facebook, pages and pages brimming with used trucks, furniture, tools, and whatever she's selling. But vehicle registration, paper tags for sale on Facebook, isn't that sort of a big official regulated thing? So you shouldn't be able to buy this on Facebook? That is not available to the general public. It can only be issued by a licensed dealer in the state of Texas. 
I can assure you this guy, a Channel 2 employee, is not a licensed car dealer. But with a few text messages, providing a real VIN and car color, anyone's information really, we're in business. There's a lot of people that are really interested in the paranormal. Kathy Nance is the founder of Woodlands Paranormal, a group of folks who hunt ghosts and investigate things that can't be explained. I have seen many things. All the years of me doing this, I've seen many things. Old Town Spring is a small area, home to about 100 shops, and about 40 of them have reported ghost activity. It's such a popular ghost stop, Kathy decided to put it all in a book. I heard it when we moved in. I was a skeptic as well. <laughs> it's been seven years now. It's, it's been, there's been a lot of things that have happened. Matthew Potter owns Simply Texas Gourmet Foods. Sometimes when he shows up for work in the morning, Potter says things are not the way he left them. That's happened several times. The night before, it's all normal, and I come in in the morning, and it's like doop, 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 doop. So there's been a couple times they smash a bottle here and there, but n most of the times, no damage. I really didn't know the, the haunted history of Old Town Spring, but quickly when we moved in, we started having a few experiences of our own. The friendly atmosphere and unique ice cream selection makes Ellen's Cafe a popular spot for visitors, especially one guest who always seems to leave a mess behind. It was a guy named Henry that worked for the railroad, and he's partial to tea. Well, that all started to make sense because we would have tea kettles and things like that fall off the shelves and stuff. At Noble Street Tattoo, a party quickly turned frantic when owner Tommy Phillips thought someone was locked inside the bathroom. I banged on the door, no response, so uh, busted it open, broke the lock, and stepped in, and there was no one in the room. And there's bars on the windows, no way of exiting. The lock is a latch lock. It's a hook that goes through a hole, and you have to manually put it over. And this poor guy has been glued together too many times to count. And that's because we come in and it's broken on the floor. I don't know how I got there. <laughs> There's also a headless train worker who haunts the streets. He was said to be running with a lantern trying to tell the train that was coming to stop. He tripped and fell under the oncoming train. So he's here now. And people see him. I don't believe in no ghost, but there was some things that happened in here that was kind of strange. I'm a skeptic. I'm not necessarily a believer in everything, but I've seen it happen right in front of my face, so I don't know what to say. You know, it's, it's, it's bizarre, for sure. So why is Old Town Spring haunted? Theories include that it's haunted by Native Americans, or it has something to do with the nearby railroad. Kathy says we may never know the answer. Owen Conflenti, KPRC, Channel 2 News.